Some homeowners in Willard say their mail was locked away for about a week after a disagreement with the local post office. And as Northern Utah Specialist Mike Anderson explains, this is an issue that should have been worked out years ago when the homes were first built. Post office boxes for this neighborhood are back open. That happened after KSL called about this story. But homeowners here are still confused about why it's taken so long to figure out how mail should be delivered to this cul-de-sac. We do it often. Oh, it is a lot today. Sometimes what's in there isn't even that important. But for at least a week, these Willard homeowners say they couldn't. We're just frustrated because we want our mail. It might not be a ton of mail, but... When I first talked with them around noon today, they said their P.O. boxes were still locked up. It's really gotten in way of our online shopping. <laughs> Which, you know, when you, live in a, when you live in a small area, you do rely on those services. But while they managed to keep a good sense of humor, they say it was frustrating. From what I can tell, we should be able to have boxes <laughs> or a free P.O. box. And that is at the center of this confusion. It's an issue that apparently was never worked out when homes were built here along 300 South. Some homeowners have lived here for nearly a decade, and some say they simply paid for a P.O. box at first. We feel like it should be equal to all of us, all of our neighbors. And so it, in order to do that, we've had to band together to say, hey, this isn't right. The answer from the postmaster to put mailboxes along this stretch of 200 West but a letter from city planners stated it was a historic trail and that the placement of mailboxes in that area would create a safety and congestion concern. Homeowners say as a February deadline came up to get those mailboxes installed, the P.O. boxes were locked. I cannot get my mail and I can't get my mind wrapped around it. And a statement from the Postal Service today says that they are reaching out to the homeowners to apologize for the confusion. They say they will continue to work toward putting in a centralized mailbox here. Until then, those P.O. boxes will remain free and open for them. Mike Anderson, KSL 5 News. Mike, thank you. Lowe's.